How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today we're going to be going over a, a special video topic which a lot of people have trouble with, which is my phone is running slow. How do I speed it up? I'm going to go over a couple of tips. If you have a Galaxy Note 3, this is going to show you how to speed up your smartphone. Um, and that's just if it's running slow, if you notice it's kind of lagging, this will help you kind of get it going a little bit quicker again. So the first thing we're going to do is... Um, you, we're going to hold down on the home button, which is the one button in the middle of the phone. We're going to just hold down on it until this comes up. This is our multitasking uh, option here. This shows you all the apps that are currently open and running on your phone. And as you can see, I have a lot of different apps running. If you have too many apps running, it will slow your phone down. Think of it like a computer and you have 20 different programs open. The more programs that are open at one time, the slower the phone begins to operate. So, there's two ways to close apps here. You can just swipe. So just take your finger and slide it across the screen so I can swipe. You can go left or right. It'll work in both ways. Or if you just say, hey, I want to close all the apps, you can click on this uh, option all the way to the right, uh, which has the three bars and a little trash can. Tap on there, and that will close all the apps that are running in the background. So now your phone should run a little bit faster. But we're not done yet. The next thing we're going to do is hold down that home button again and tap on the first icon. It looks like a little circle or a little pie chart. Tap on that and make sure you're on RAM. So if you're on anything else, active, download, clear, you don't want to be on that. Make sure you go to RAM and tap the button. There's a button right at the bottom and it's going to say, um, what's this no internet thing? moves out the way. I don't know why that's still there. But there's a button down here and the button will say clear memory. So tap, there it is, tap clear memory. And what it's going to do is close even more apps that are running that you can't even see. If you notice our little line, our, our RAM usage went from like 200 and something to 197, which is still not that good because we still need to get it lower than this. But this is how you um, just part of the process of getting it to run quicker. You, you tell it to clear that memory. So step one was to, again just to hold down the home button, clear our running apps and we just tap that button to do it. And then we went back here, went to our pie chart and we cleared our RAM. And if you notice that this line is still really far to the right, for example, like this really should stay below like 170-ish. So mine is still pretty high. So that means that although I've done those two steps to get my phone to run faster, it's still going to run a little slow. So here's the third step, and this is pretty much the foolproof, the quickest way to get your phone to kind of like reset itself and start running quicker is you just want to restart the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down on our our or a standby power button right here just hold down on it and go ahead and tap on restart and then it will say device will restart we're gonna press OK and now the phone is gonna reset itself when the phone resets itself it turns everything off and then it, it's gonna turn it back on again and so a lot of the extra stuff that's running that's causing it to slow down um, will not be there think of it like kinda of giving it a fresh start and so um, once it does fully reset, then I'm going to show you, we're going to go back to our RAM and you're going to see how much lower the RAM is after we've done this step. So resets take a couple of seconds. Obviously, I had a lot of stuff going on on my phone, so that's why mine is taking longer than normal. Usually the restart is super fast. It just kicks off, kicks back on again. Looks like it's almost ready here. We got our Note 3 symbol here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick. And then uh, we'll go back to our RAM manager and then we'll see... Um, what success we've had in doing this last step. This is our third and final step here. Still waiting for it. AT&T sound, gotta have that branding on there. You know, it's part of the process. And we're almost done. Just don't want you guys to see my unlock, so that's why I have to keep the phone over here. Nothing personal, you know I love you guys. You guys are my dog. Okay, so we're in. Okay, and so now we're gonna hold down our home button. Oh, wrong thing. Hold down. No apps are running. We're going to go to our pie chart and take a look at our RAM. Look at that. 119. 
before it was at like 180 or 190. So this is kind of your foolproof way to get that RAM back down. You really don't want the phone operating anything over half of the RAM because that's when it's going to start uh, slowing down. So um, those are the three steps on how to get your Note 3 to run, run quicker. You're going to first close your running apps two you're going to go and you're going to clear your ram memory and if that doesn't help you're going to just go ahead and restart the phone and that should get your phone running quicker and smoother again i hope you guys found this helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video if you did find it helpful subscribe to hg tech videos and keep watching we appreciate you here at hg tech and make sure you like us on facebook facebook.com slash hg tech videos take care and have a good one